Matthew? Yeah, I'm uh, Jerry Fitzgerald. Just wanted to wish her a happy holiday. It's Christmas Eve, and we've got this thing going on with my father and my whole family that is going to need to be addressed tonight. Yeah, so you're going to need a drink. There's something I just want to discuss with the whole family. It's about Dad. What about Dad? He wants to spend Christmas with us here at the house. All I want to be is with my family at Christmas. Is that so unreasonable? Oh, no, that's definitely not happening. That sounds awesome. Does it sound awesome? You think you're ready to see the old man? No. I think we should ask Mom to let him come. Maybe there was a time for some forgiveness. OK, I thought about it. And the answer is still no. I am more than OK with that. You're all crazy. How does she know my Jerry? Oh, they met here yesterday. If you can visit, I'll see you. She seems like a nice girl. I thought I'd do them each a favor. Maybe you could stay and we could have a drink. But you never asked. What brought you here tonight to this fine establishment? I was waiting for my train. Oh, I got bad news. You, uh, you missed it. No, I missed my train. Right, so? There's got to be another train. Not tonight. Hmm. He deserves to be there. Does he? This is a guy who walked out on his family. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, you know? Have your brothers and sisters figure it out for themselves. I know he hurts you, but he's still our father. An angel just got their wings. None for you, though, Pops. Guess there's nothing else to say. Can we forgive our father just one day? Just one normal Christmas? I had no intention of breaking his family up. What I wanted to do was pull you all together. When he walked out on this family 20 years ago, I told him he would never set foot in my house again, and I am sticking to it. You're with your family. That's what we do. We take care of one another. God, I'm happy to see you. Uh, 